top story this morning. Ballots have now all been counted from Wednesday's parliamentary by-elections here in South Korea. No major surprises as one National Assembly seat went to the main opposition Liberty Korea Party and the other to the minor Progressive Justice Party. Our pol political correspondent Kim Minji starts us off. The main opposition Liberty Korea Party and the Minor Justice Party claim victory in the parliamentary by-elections. The district of Chawan Sangsan in Gyeongsangnam-do province went to Yeo Young-guk of the Justice Party, who also represented the ruling Democratic Party, as the two parties filed a single candidacy in a bid to secure liberal votes. He garnered 45.75 percent of the votes in a tight race. The residents of Changwon Sungsan have allowed me to be a part of the progressive politics that remain the pride of this district. The constituency of Tongyang Kosang in the same province went to the Liberty Korea Party's Chung Jom Sik. He won a seat by a huge margin. The district has long been held by the Conservative Party. I will put all my efforts into reviving the shipbuilding industry. I will make Tongyang Kosang into a city that's great to live in and great for tourism. Although it was only two seats, the by-elections gave a read on public sentiment in the traditional conservative province ahead of next year's general elections. It's been a relative success for the Liberty Korea Party. Although the Changwon Songsan district has been in the firm grasp of the Liberals, the Conservatives lost out by less than one percentage point. And although it was widely expected they would take the Tongyang Kusun constituency, the party won in a landslide. In fact, the results have cemented the standing of the party's new leadership that took the helm earlier this year. And it's also a sign the party may have brushed off its tainted image due to its ties to oust a former President Park geun -hye. It's a blow to the Democratic Party that couldn't add any extra parliamentary seats of its own. The approval rating for the Moon Jae administration and the party has dwindled due to the slowing economy and stalled denuclearization talks with North Korea. But they could at least get the Justice Party's backing in the National Assembly. The minor progressive party, now with an extra seat, can launch a negotiating bloc with the minor party for democracy and peace, which will give it a greater say in legislative affairs. To form a negotiating group, at least 20 lawmakers need to be part of it. The two parties used to be a joint bloc, but they split after they lost a seat following the suicide of a Justice Party lawmaker. Now the rival parties have an idea of where the voters stand. The winners will have to work extra hard to meet expectations and solidify their support base, while the losers will have to identify their shortcomings and foster support before the April 2020 general elections. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.